Naruto, it's over! So prepare for defeat! Meet the most feared creature in Duel Monsters, the mighty Exodia Necros! Welcome back to the Yu-Gi-Oh! segment where we challenge Calvin to build a deck around a difficult monster. Today's episode, he has to summon the infamous Exodia Necros, used by Gozaburo Kaiba in the Yu-Gi-Oh! anime, and win the duel. Summoning it means taking an established win condition and flipping it on its head. If Calvin fails the challenge, he'll have to wear the cursed Yu-Gi-Oh! loser shirt again. This one feels like a tall order, but if anybody can do it, Calvin can. So Calvin. So, Paul? You're currently 3 and 2 right now. I'm currently 5 and 0 in my book. So, 3 and 2. I got a new card for you. Hopefully, it'll be a little easier. We'll see. Here you go. This one's another anime card. You'll like it. Exodia Necros. There's a lot of ticks on here. This card cannot be normal summon a set. This card cannot be special summon except by the effect of contract with Exodia. This card is not the shortest of the battle or by the effects of spell or trap cards and during. If you get standby phase increased to take this card by 500 points. This card is destroyed when any of Exodia Forbidden One, right on the Forbidden One, left the Exodia pieces is not in your graveyard. So you blow it up just by like DD Crow or something. Yes. So I gotta get all five pieces to the grave. That's right. You gotta get the pieces to the oh, grave. Oh, wait. No. I need country with it, with it, with Exodia. Yeah, we have that. Okay, cool. All right. I thought, I thought you were trying, trying to set me up for failure. See, they be setting me up. I have a card that I need Contra with Exodia to summon. And you know what he does not give me? Contra with Exodia. Uh, I, I do have your contract. Set up. Contract it's with Exodia. Hey, you got three copies. You have all five of Exodia for being one. The Exodia pieces in your graveyard. Spell summon one Exodia neck cross from your hand. So I have to draw it as well. That's right, yes. I know what you need to know going with from the start here. So uh, you got 10 turns to summon. Oh, I got 10 again? 10 turns. Yeah, the audience, they got tired of me making it five, so oh, we're handicapping. I'm, trash I'm not trash. So I don't you, need the 10 turns. If you lose this time, you're definitely trash. So that'll be three losses in a row. That's not good. I can leave. Do you accept the challenge? Yeah, I'll sell. I'm going to get it in five turns. You heard it here first, guys. Five turns, apparently. Good luck. Five turns. You heard what I said. All right, so basically, my first initial thought right now is I'm going to get some of my old faithfuls I've used before. Uh, you've seen any of these before? I love my draw cards. So I know that's going to be my first start. Like I said, I need to get all five pieces. And I also need to get this to my hand as well. Dark World dealings, hand destruction, stuff like that. That's like my first choice right now. Like... A good little set of draw cards. And from there, I'll try to figure out what to what to actually do next. Uh, weaknesses, strengths, issues to... I mean, the strength so far is that uh, this card can be destroyed as, as a result of battle or by the effects of spell or trap card. So um, I guess that's a strength. The weakness is that it can still be targeted and bounced and things like that. And it's rather low at 1800. I mean, it gets stronger. Each of your standby phases though. So it goes from 18 to 23. If it was every standby phase, that'd be like a lot better. But I think I could probably beef it up. I think I might have to run some like acts of despairs or something like that. Something that'll just really, really get that card out though. So first things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. Gotta get the Exodia pieces. Yes, these are the Lost Arts. Ooh. I would say I would have fun summoning these, but um, yeah, I guess the objective is not to actually summon these, exactly. I mean, do you ever really summon the Exodia pieces? I don't know. Because, I mean, their effect is just... I've always wondered that, you know? Like, the effect is just kind of like it just activates. Like, Yugi in the show, like, he's like, I summon Yeah, I guess Exodia. you don't actually summon them. How does it go? And then, don't forget to subscribe. You've probably seen me use these cards before, so I know where these are at, but... Anytime you need to do something that involves drawing, why not have draw cards? Oh, Foolish Berry, I don't need that because that gets pieces to the graveyard. If I ran Hand Destruction, I can discard Metal Falls Fusion. I can also discard that with Dark World Dealings, and that's technically a draw card, right? 
Yeah, this is your. Oh yeah, I'm on to a good start already. Card trust might be good too. Yeah, it could be. Oh no, there's a lot of good draw cards, but there's enough draw. Did I skip the Dark World dealings? Oh, okay, we do got the fucker. So already, if we just look at it, I have like what? Nine draw cards, possibly. So, is I don't think there's any other monsters I would need per se. Oh, you know another good mo no. Maybe a card trooper. If, I, if there's a card trooper in here, but I think I have my own card trooper. Up oh, hand destruction. That means I get to dig into my dick for two cards. And then put the pieces inside the graveyard. That might end up being like a like a like an MVP card, honestly. Do we only have one hand destruction? Oh, oh, speak of it, and it shall appear. One more would be nice, but yeah. Vegas can't be choosers. Heart of the Underdog is a draw card. You think I can find enough normal monsters to make Heart of the Underdog work? I mean, if you're willing to look through a lot of comments. <sighs> that was my horse noise, because I'm trying to find normal dork monsters. Yeah, these cards right here. Heart of the Underdog resolves, I mean, revolves around normal and allure is around dark, so. I feel like the more dark normal monsters I have. What card game is this? Idiot Pro. <clears throat> Yeah, the more dark normals I have, the better chance I have of drawing. And actually, one of everyone's favorite cards is a dark normal. I can run three dark magician in there. But do you want to? Yes, because then I can run, um, <clears throat> is it Sacred Seven Swords? Or seven of the Sacred Swords? Yeah, it's a draw spell. Yeah, so three of those. And the Odd Eyes Art Pendulum is also a dark level seven. Fred has a dark level seven. There's a lot of dark level sevens. But if I scroll down, level fours, some of these I should have. Evil Swarm, Heliotrope, Mystery Shell, Dragon. This is new. The Magic Key Monster is new. So, again, I hate going in there, but I know those are at least inside the box. Those three are definitely in there somewhere. What you doing, Kevin? Building. So yeah, if you follow me this way, we have this beautiful storage with these things that you have come to see me go through with, I hate going through. So yeah, uh, box one. Hopefully I can get it done with how many cards I said I had already? Like 20, 15 to 20 more normal monsters. I think I'll be fine. So hopefully I can get that done with like two boxes. And we started as soon as I can get these out the box. Yeah, these things are packed. I'm gonna actually organize this one day. And look at that. A dark level, what is that, eight? I don't know if that's the best one to start with. Hey, look here, I need, I just need darks and normals at this point. So yeah, um, <clears throat> I guess maybe Paul felt bad for me or something, but yeah, I actually have help this time. I helped before. Sometimes I help. He looks at me and talks. So <laughs> actually I have help this time. Um, looking yeah, at we've got a few things. things. Yeah, we actually have like no real thing. It's honestly just a bunch of normal monsters. I mean, for what it's worth though, I feel like with Heart of the Underdog, like, I mean, normal is normal. Yeah, normal Dark is, is only normal. really good for Allure of Darkness, so. Because a lot of these normals have 2,000 attack, so. I mean, the 1900 is also not that bad, but. Oh, shout out to, uh, shout out to Pain96. One of the mini volcanic shells inside of this. Oh, it's definitely a lot. I found another shiny Black Sea Squad. You already yes, have three. I, no, I have two. Okay, cool. Which actually, we should have some of those pulled out from the last video. <laughs> Ghost beef. Here's a normal monster. I'm not doing nothing with You know no. what, give it to me. I'm putting it in there. Put, put a blue this, eyes in. This is fan service. This is for y'all. 
So you're not going to run Dark Magician, but you're going to run a two tribute Blue Eyes? Yes. Actually, it makes more sense to run it, but... You never know when I might need 3,000 to take. Yeah, I want that into winning the duel. Well, you have to win the duel with Exodian Necros. You add those. Oh, you knew that this was is why. Ago. This is why he's in here helping me right now. Because he wants to add stuff on. I think he can do it. I don't think he can do it. All right, y'all. So Paul has given me my deck for today. The Cyber Strike Structure deck. I could. I remember this being Calvin's challenge by him doing something with his deck. I didn't pay attention this time. So why did I get this? I don't even know how to play this. You know what? Let's name this episode Alec Can. I mean, I got Cyber Dragons. I know they're big. I know at least Cyber Dragon can cheat himself out. I lost to the Cyber Ducks, Cyber Ducks before. Check out that video. So I have a vague idea of how to use this, and I'm gonna use that very vague idea to once again ruin Calvin's day. You look busy? Yeah. Uh, my initial thought was to just get a bunch of normal dorks, and I'm not sure if I could find enough, so I basically just grabbed all the normal monsters I could find out the first two boxes. Uh, but besides that, also it paid off because I found a third hand destruction. So I think, besides just normal monsters, I think that was an overall good look. And I also think I'm going to do something just a tad bit meme because um, I think I'm going to play these as well. I know there's a dark magician, in, I mean there's a blue eyes in here somewhere. Cause there's a lot of normals in here. There's a blue eyes in here somewhere, but I'm going to add that to it as well. As it looks right now, I have a total of 24 normal monsters. I'm not sure if that's too many or not enough. Like I need a heart of the underdog to resolve. Cause that's I my come engine. bearing gifts. This is why you don't have a segment right here. This is Calvin Cain, I cannot use that. You said you were playing normal monsters, so I thought that I would help. I think mine is slightly better. Um, it fits inside of a sleeve. Yeah, well. But sure, if you, if you think I should summon that one, yeah. I think if, if I, you summon the Dark Magician, you have to summon this. Yeah, you know what, put it right there. Yeah, okay. I'm summon, He's, if I summon this, I'm summoning it. He's here for support. Good luck. Bye now. That's what I gotta deal with, bro. Oh. Guys, I know this is a hard structure deck to buy right now, but speaking of buying things, this video is sponsored by Ridge Wallets. And I always have my Ridge Wallet on me because one, I like to buy things. I'm always secure in knowing that this is uh, RFID protected, so my cards are always safe. I can keep a money clip on it in case I want to carry some cash, you know, for whenever we get events back. And uh, it comes in many different colors and metal types. And I think this makes a great Christmas gift. So if you want to buy a gift for yourself or a significant other, go ahead and hit the link in the description to check out Ridge Wallets. Shout out to Ridge Wallet for sponsoring today's video. Okay guys, so uh, you got your deck. How are you feeling, Calvin? I'm feeling very confident this time. Six and no, that's what I'm going for. Huh? Four and two. Four and three, you forget. That Ultimate Media Fiend episode was my win. Wait, so how you get sick? That boy can't math. I got four. Caught that right. All right, Calvin. Let's get your execution over with. Eight. Eight. Hmm. All right. Gonna take a little bit Three. longer. Five. Eight. I'm going second. That is fine. I'll get to kill you faster. Okay, I will start by using my Cyber Dark Claw. Cyber Dark Claw. I'll discard it from my hand and add a Cyber Dark Spell or Trap from deck to hand. I wish I had an edge possible or something. I'll get Cyber Dark Inferno, the field spell. Next, I will activate my Cyber Dark Inferno. Mm -hmm. So when I have a Cyber Dark monster that's equipped with another one, 
then it can't be destroyed by card effects and you can't target it. Next, I will normal summon my Cyber Dark Keel, which lets me equip a level three of the Red Dragon from my graveyard to it. So it gains the attack, so it's 16 plus eight, it's 2400. During damage calculation, if I battle one of your monsters, I get to send one monster from my extra deck to the grave. And Cyber Dark Keel will burn you when he destroys a monster by battle. And I'll end my turn. I will draw for turn. During the standby phase, I will activate hand destruction. Each player sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard, then draws two cards. So I'll send my shiny black seat and my right leg. And I'll send Cyber Dragon Zwei and Cyber Dragon Veer. We both draw two cards. One, two. Activate Harder Than the Dog. During your draw phase, when you draw a normal monster or monsters, you can draw one more card by showing it to your opponent. Activate Dark World Dealings. Each player draws one card, then discards one card. Let's draw. And I discard Gene Warped Werewolf. Warwolf. And I will discard Future Fusion. Find something over there. Activate Upstart Goblin. Draw one card. And, and then you gain a thousand life points. Yes. And you say he does do piercing, right? Uh, this guy does not do deal piercing. It burns and destroys a monster by battle. I will normal summon my left arm of the Forbidden One. And I will link some of the way. It's a Link Spider. Link Spider says once per turn, you supposed to summon one level four lower normal monster from your hand to your zone this card points to. So I will use the effect of my Link Spider and special summon Alexandrite Dragon. Okay. But that's weaker than my monster. But I can do more. I will link summon again into Nightmare Phoenix. So I'll use this effect to target the Cyber Dark Claw and I'll discard Harder Undock to destroy it. That is fine. But when my Claw is sent from field to graveyard while it's equipped, I get to draw one card. Yeah. Now I will move towards battle phase. Nightmare Phoenix will declare an attack on your Cyber, cyber Dark Kill. Yeah, he is uh, killed. Nice. 19 to 8, so 11, and in my turn. All right, let's draw for turn. Normal summon my Cyber Dragon Core. Yes. And I'll use the effect to add one Cyber Speller Trap from deck to hand. That sounds legal to me. I'll add Cyber Dark Realm to hand. I've never heard of that one. Right, and I've only barely heard of it. I'll activate Cyber Dark Realm. When it's activated, I can add a Cyber Dark monster from deck to hand from a different name, with a different name from one of my graves, so it can't be Keel and it can't be Claw. And then I can immediately normal summon it. Okay. I will get my Cyber Dark Eagle, and then I'll normal summon my Eagle. Mm -hmm. And activate its effect, I will equip it with my Cyber Dark Claw. Yes. So Cyber Dragon Core's name is Cyber Dragon on the field. So I don't know how many they give me in this deck, but I'm activating Machine Duplication. Okay. It's a special summon as up to two Cyber Dragons from my deck. Here's hoping they gave me two. You're joking, right? Yeah, okay. Ah, uh, there is one Cyber Dragon. Just one. No more. That sounds accurate. Because that would be too much fun, it seems. Enter battle. Yes. So Cyber Dragon will attack with 2100. And Cyber Dark Angel will attack directly. With 24. And Cyber Dragon Core will attack for 400. Yes. And I'll end my turn. Draw for turn. And during my draw phase, Harder Underdog will activate because I drew a normal monster. Get to reveal it, and then draw another card. And I get to reveal another normal monster and draw another card. How many normal monsters are in this deck? 28. And I get to draw and reveal. I draw another card. Okay. I like, I, I like this game. Draw. I get to reveal and draw a card. All right. This game is really fun. It's not. Oh, but it is a hand destruction. And I believe since this is a quick play, I can use this during my draw phase. It is a, it's a quick play. Jip. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. Activate hand, hand destruction. Each player sends two cards from their hand to the graveyard, then draws two cards. Okay. I'll I think my Naster and Deployment. Then we draw two cards. One, two. 
And I'm guessing that means... Well, it wasn't one, but it was a hand instruction. <laughs> so I'll play hand instruction. Wait, send two, then draw two cards. I'll lose my tag and invasion. Wait, two. And the card I drew was a normal monster for the second card. So it gets revealed and I draw a card. Oh, because we're still in your draw phase. Yes, yes, we're still in my draw phase. It's in here. I get to reveal. Yeah, you keep doing monster. that. Okay, let's keep, let's keep I draw going. a card. And I get to reveal as a normal monster. So I draw a card. Yeah, you keep you keep doing that. I get to reveal because it's a normal monster. So I draw a card. Yes, you do. Cool. Oh, it's not a normal monster. Oh, okay. And then I'll activate Dark World Dealings. These players draw one card and then discard one card. Alright, let's go. So I draw. Then I discard a card. The card I will discard is the left leg of the forbidden one. And I'll discard my Cyber Pharaohs. I will normal summon my Zombino. Childish Zombino. It is just a normal monster with 2000 attack. And I will perform a Link Summon. I bet you'll never get something going into me. I couldn't imagine. Link Spider. I will attempt to use my Link Spider's effect. And I will spell summon Mystery Shell Dragon, which is a 2000 attack normal monster. Seems to be a common theme in here. I will move towards battle phase. Mystery Shell Dragon will attack the Cyber Dragon Core. I'll perform another Link Summon for another Nightmare Phoenix. I will use Nightmare Phoenix effect. Sure. <laughs> I will discard a Zombino to target the Cyber Dark Claw. You will hit my claw, but as we know, when Claw is sent to the graveyard, while well, equipped to a monster, I get to draw. I think now I will move towards end phase and end my turn. Oh, draw for now. I will start by activating my Cyber Dark Inferno. Yes. I can bounce Edge back to my hand, or Eagle. No, I mean, I mean this Eagle, it's Edge. <laughs> bounce Edge back to my hand, and then I can immediately normal summon. But this time I'll summon Cyber Dark Horn. Mm -hmm. And I'll activate its effect to equip Claw to my horn. So I will enter battle. Yes. Cyber Dragon will attack your Nightmare Phoenix, 21. I will take 200. And Cyber Dark Horn will attack directly for 2400. Yes. And I will use my Claw's effect to send Cyber End Dragon to the graveyard. And does that do anything? No, it just sits there. Okay. But maybe soon it will. I'll set one card face down now in my turn. Draw. I will reveal a normal and draw a card. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah that, that, that is how that works. I will reveal a normal and draw a card. Sure. Not a normal. I will activate Dark World Dealings. Each player draws one card, then each player discards one card. I'll draw. Draw, and then I'll discard a card. I'll discard my Cyber Dark Chimera. And I'll discard Exodia, the Forbidden One, the Headpiece. And I'll activate Chimera. Yes. When it is sent to the graveyard, I can send a Cyber Dark Monster with a different name than the ones I have from deck to grave. That's legal. And I will send my Cyber Dark Cannon. Now I will do something very cool. Um. I did all that drawing and discarding for a reason. <sighs> yep, there's a left leg, there's a head in here. There's a right arm in here. He's a little discombobulated right now. There's a left arm, and there's a right leg. That is the perfect way to orient this. Yes, he looks great. But there's a reason they're all discarding. I think I just, cause see, when all five of them get into the graveyard, I can play this card. Contract with Exodia. All purpose of the, of the deck, in case you didn't know. You have all five of Exodia, the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One, left arm of the Forbidden One, right leg of the Forbidden One, and left leg of the Forbidden One in your graveyard. Just summon one Exodia Necroz from your hand. Exodia Necroz? I happen to have an Exodia Necroz in my hand. Now this card here does some stuff. He's there. 
This court cannot be normal summon a set. This court cannot be special summon except by the effect of contract with the Zodiac. Let's get rid of the Zodiac right there. This card is not destroyed as a result of battle or by the effects of spell or trap cards. During each of your standby phases, increase the attack of this card by 500 points. This card is destroyed when any of the Zodiac the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One, left arm of the Forbidden One, right leg of the Forbidden One, or left leg of the Forbidden One is not in your graveyard. Mm -hmm. So he's just an 1800 beater right now. And you know, each of my standby phases, he just goes up. He doesn't negate anything or pop anything? Nope, but he can't be destroyed by battle or by spell and trap card effects. He can't be destroyed? He can't be destroyed by it. I think I'll just pass my turn. I will draw for turn. I think it's adorable that you made your boss monster. I really do. He on the feed. And that's all he is, because I'm playing Overload Fusion, which <laughs> means I can fuse the monsters from my field and my graveyard. I am going to be making Chimera Tech Over Dragon, who just requires a Cyber Dragon and one plus machine monsters. We'll do Cyber Dragon. Chimera. So yeah, it's 16, 16. We'll do, oh, I should have used Core, oh well. You know, we, we, don't, we don't care, we don't care. We got Core, Naster. 8, 16, 24, 32, so he's 4,000, he's 48. Veer. He's 56. Zwei. He's like he's 64. 6,400, huh? That's, that's, that's how much that is? You know I don't like you, right? And you can't be destroyed by battle, though. I cannot be destroyed by battle. But you still take the damage. Let me read the back of the card to make sure it don't say anything <laughs> to think about. You know, not taking that. I think you might be right. I think I can take damage. So, Chimera Tech Dragon's effect will now activate. It will mm -hmm. send all other cards or monsters? All other cards. Woo. At least all that stuff gone. It doesn't help you. Because my Chimera Tech Over Dragon with, what did, I, what did we say, 6,400? Uh -huh. Will attack your Exodia Necros. What's what my life point say? 24. You have 18. Okay, so if I add 18 and 24, okay, so 8 plus 4. It's game, Calvin. No matter how you do the math, it's game. That might be game. Uh, I, I think the calculator agrees. All right, so uh, uh, looks like this isn't exactly a win. Let me but... tell you what the problem was. See, see, the way I summoned my monster, what I used to fuel this, fueled his deck as well. I didn't know what deck he was using. And even when I saw it, I forgot Overload Fusion was even a card. I didn't think about that. Look, man, I didn't really know how to play this deck. This is my first time really looking at a lot of these cards. Uh, I decided I was gonna take it easy today, you know, just kind of cruise through here. Okay. And uh, I don't know, I just kind of fell into the wind. I am sick of you. I'm really sick of you. Okay, so that means, what is the record right now? 3-3. Three, three. Well, it's really 2-4, two, two, because the ultimate Obedient three, Fiend one was my win. Fine. 3-3. Three, three. All right, so, guys, I'm 3-3 I'm three, three right now. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what cards y'all want to see me use next. Let me know what, what changes you will probably make to this day. I don't know, I feel, I feel like I've been slightly rusty lately. I gotta get back in the lab, because this, this cannot happen again. It can't.